Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the basic Spring Framework interview question. What is the purpose of required annotation in Spring Framework? The required annotation applies to bean property setter methods, bean properties, and, in, in, and it indicates that the affected bean property must be populated in XML configuration file at the time of configuration. Otherwise, the spring container will throw bean initialization exception. Let me show you an example so that you can understand. I have a bean called bean bank customer and there are two attributes bank customer name and the age. And in the setter methods I have marked it as required. That means these two attributes has to be populated. So I have marked th these two setter methods as required and this required is coming from spring framework. Okay, So that me this means these two variables should be set during the object creation if it is null it will be giving an exception saying that bean initialization exception so let's see the spring configuration file so i have a bean bank customer and with the id bank customer and this is a class it's going to use for creating the object and the customer name we are setting but for demo purpose i am commenting this i don't want to set this but in the bean class it is required the age is required I marked it as required so I'll be getting a getting a bean initialization exception now okay and one more point just I want to mention you have to create you have to uh, mention this bean as well in the spring configuration file there is required annotation bean post processor otherwise this required annotation will not work okay so you have to mention this class bean class in the spring configuration file so I'm going to create I'm going to load this XML file I'm going to get the bean I'm trying to get the bean from the spring container but it will be show throwing an error let's see this how exactly it was I'm going to start the debugging now so since we have commented the, the customer age property it will be giving an error because it is required attribute okay so those so the loading XML bean definition is done. So we are trying to load and we got an exception. The exception is actually, can you see this? I want to just show you the exception. It says property customer age is required for bean bank customer. That means we have mentioned here it has required. Okay. But in the spring configuration file, it's not set properly. That's why we are getting bean initialization exception saying that property customer age is required for bean customer bank customer sorry so I'm going to in order to remove this error I have to set this property because this property is required property okay so I'm going to run this demo application again let's see now how exactly it works So I have started the debugging and we got the bean properly and we are able to print the name and the age properly in our demo code. So this is the purpose of required annotation in Spring Framework. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best for your interview. Thank you.